So what if we change our perspective and take a new seat at the table and we step into the shoes of Jesus and we go, yeah, Christ is running after them, that song we sang. The goodness of God is running after us. Why don't I run after them too? Why don't I fling open my arms and welcome them too? Why don't I change my perspective, change my approach, and realize, why don't I get on the same side that God's on? And see them for who they are, children of God that got lost, that are hurt, that can't seem to know their left hand from their right hand at times. But gosh, he loves them. Why can't I? He loves me. He's loved me when I have sat on my perch and said, I'm going to pout here like Jonah because you're just doing, you're just too good. You're just too good. Imagine the, I mean, the ridiculousness of that. You're just too good, God. You're just too kind. You're too forgiving. Thank God that he is. My life, your life would be radically different without him. In Luke 17, 1 through 4, it says, he said to his disciples, it is inevitable that stumbling blocks come, but woe to him through whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea, and that he would cause one of these then he would cause one of these little ones to stumble. Be on guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him, tell him the truth. That we're we're allowed to tell people the truth when they mess up. Rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times a day and returns to you seven times a day saying, I repent, forgive him. We got to take people where they're at. And sometimes it's not pretty. And sometimes we get tired. But when they turn and they look, it doesn't matter if it was once, seven times, or a hundred times, we say, I forgive you. Now hear me out. There are some things in life. There are some lines that people cross. There are some boundaries that we do have to have. That when people step back in our lives, it seems a little bit difficult to just go back to the way it is. We're not required to do that. We don't have to just hand over our trust and our faith all in that one moment. All I have to do is open my arms, open the door, and say, welcome home. That's my part. If, if I've been called to walk with someone through their difficulty, yeah, then I'm going to walk through it. If there's just too much there, I'm going to find someone who can walk it with them. I'm going to believe and pray for someone else to come into their life and walk with them through that. If it's just too much for me, if there's too many lines, but that doesn't have to keep me from opening my arms and saying, welcome home. I forgive you. I love you. I want the very best for you. I don't have to just say, oop, they've gone too far for me. I'm not going to, nope, I'm, I'm going to pretend I didn't see them walking back. No, I can open the door. I can open my arms. I can say, I forgive you. Let me find some help for you. Let me con contact you with someone. I'm going to be praying for you. I don't have to take on the whole weight and the responsibility. I don't have to let them cross boundaries that I just am not ready for them to do. I don't have to hand over my trust and my faith in that moment. But man, it doesn't take a whole lot just to say, I love you. Welcome home. I believe the best for you. I know God wants the best for you. I'm believing for you to be restored. I'm believing for you to be completely whole again. I can do that because that's what Christ has done. For me, he continues to do it for me. He continues to do it for you. And we live in a world right now that just says, if they, if they mess with you, don't ever talk to, don't do this. You, oh, they said this, let's shut them off. And man, we are feeling the effects of it and the divisiveness of it and the hate in the atmosphere. We can be the ones that change it. We can take the side of the Heavenly Father and we can chase after some people who need the goodness of God in their life. We can fling our arms open wide and say, welcome home. I'll take you as you are. You don't think that that guy stunk a little? He was living with the pigs. You don't think he had some effects with the lifestyle that he had? He was doing all sorts of no-no stuff. You don't think that he was going to have to work through that? You don't think he had some trauma or an emotional, like, issues? No, the, the father knew that, and yet he flung his arms open wide anyway. 
and welcomed him home and loved on him and taught him what the Heavenly Father was going to do in his life. He's going to cover that. He's going to heal that. He's going to make it whole again. And I want to learn how to be on that side of the story. I've lived as the older brother for far too long. I've had the experiences of running away and realizing that's not what I want for far too long. I'm ready to step into the shoes and be like Christ. Because really, what other option is there that's going to be effective and make change and bring healing to everyone? 